Hello, I'm April Cook. I am the new science teacher here at Great Plains Lutheran High School. Uh, my name is Mike Hogley. I am the new history teacher here. I teach world history, United States history, intro to Christianity, and high school 101. Uh, my name is uh, Andrew Shanefeld. Um, I will be teaching Religion 10, uh, Consumer Math, um, PE, and then I will be helping out with uh, football, and I'm also the dorm supervisor. My name is Mr. Seth Hockey, and I've been called to teach English on various levels here at Great Plains Lutheran High School, as well as to coach volleyball this year in the fall. Um, I am Mrs. Hockey, and I'm teaching art this year at Great Plains. I grew up in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and I went to Winnebago Lutheran Academy in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, from there on, I went to Martin Luther College for five years and got my degree there. Uh, my first assignment was to Nebraska Lutheran High School, where I served as a tutor for two years. And I just got reassigned here to Great Plains to teach history this year. Uh, I am originally from Manitowoc, Wisconsin, and that's where I grew up. went to school at Manitowoc Lutheran High School. And then college at Martin Luther College. This is the fourth place that I've gotten a chance uh, at which to serve. Other places include Fox Valley Lutheran High School, uh, Mount Lebanon Lutheran Grade School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Carlsbad, uh, California, a great school there. Um, I was born in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. I went to Kettle Moraine Lutheran High School in Jackson, Wisconsin, and then went to Martin Luther College and studied science. Went there for five years for secondary. After that, I got my first call to California Lutheran High School, and I was a tutor for two years. After that, I went to Nebraska Lutheran High School and was a tutor for one year during which time I received the call to teach here at Great Plains. So I'm from Wisconsin. Um, I've actually never taught high school art before. This is my first time. Um, I um, am from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and I went to a public school there. Um, and then I went to Lawrence University, and I have a degree in art history from Lawrence University. Um, and I also have a nursing degree, so I kind of am an art person and a nurse. Um, I was born in Fort Atkinson, or uh, Watertown, Wisconsin. I uh, grew up in Fort Atkinson. Um, I now live, or my parents live in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. I went to Lakeside Lutheran. Um, graduated from there um, back in 2007. Uh, went to Martin Luther College. Um, got a degree. Um, I deferred my first call uh, last year and went down to the Dominican Republic. Um, taught there at a bilingual school. Um, I was the PE teacher. I taught preschool all the way to 12th grade, so I had about 278 kids. Um, also was a makeshift athletic director and uh, taught or coached basketball and soccer. And um, God bless me in uh, calling me here to Great Plains with High School. This year I am very excited to get to know all the faculty and all the students and all the people connected with Great Plains Lutheran High School and to get a chance to really do a lot of things with the English curriculum here. Uh, me having three different years, uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to use um, the gifts that God has given me to help out uh, the students here at the school. The things that I'm most excited for are continuing to stay in a high school. Um, I enjoyed being a tutor, but I'm, I'm looking forward to being in my first full-time called mystery. Um, obviously, I'm very excited about teaching science. It's one of the passions of mine as well. The things I'm most excited for for this school year is, first of all, getting to know the students. Um, I'm looking forward to watching their activities outside of the classroom as well as what they can do in the classroom. Um, also looking forward to learning a new subject area in history and um, all the great things that come along with that. Um, this year I am really excited just to see what the students can come up with and ways that they can be creative and um, beautify the world around them through their art. Uh, this school year, um, probably just uh, getting to know people. Um, the best part about this job, I think, is just getting to know people. Um, being in the dorm, uh, getting to know the kids on a different level, rather than just seeing them at school, giving them assignments, or uh, between the bells. Um, I get to coach, so that's a different aspect. Um, like I said, being in the dorm, that's a different aspect. And then also I get the aspect of being a teacher. So. Um, just the opportunity to learn um, about people um, and then also, uh, of course, spreading God's word um, is up there at the top of the list. I think that a good student is, is someone who's motivated to do well or at least to try. Um, it's easier to help someone who's motivated than someone who isn't interested in what's going on in the classroom. 
Um, I think good students are people who are excited about learning and I'm here to help them to do that. A good student has to be a good communicator and that goes both ways, expressing their thoughts as well as listening intently so that they can pick up on the information. Um, I think a good student is somebody that is willing to try new things, is eager to learn, and is respectful of their teachers and um, the other students around them. A good student probably, um, first off, um, their foundation needs to be in Christ. Um, if they have that foundation and hopefully the teachers all give that to them and encourage them. Um, a good student is of course studious um, and honest and uh, will be prepared for class. Um, but also um, you should see Christ in them. Um, the way they carry themselves in the hallways, the way they carry themselves at sporting events. Um, simply just uh, the way they act here at Great Plains um, and then also out in the community um, at the church. You know, if you're wearing Great Plains apparel and people see you out at Hy-Vee or anywhere, um, they just say, well, that makes sense. You know, that, that kid has got it going on, he knows what's going on, um, and just has that Christ-centered life. Uh, I think what makes a good student is a person that is open to learning new things, uh, open to thinking in new ways, and is uh, open to hearing a different way of instructing than perhaps that they have had in the past. And then for, therefore, then applying that in new and interesting ways.